hi guys welcome to my school hostel so today's video is a different one in this video i'm going to be showing you what a nigerian university hostel looks like so please make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and the bell icon beside it to get notified once i drop a new video so the first thing you see is the hostel gate vehicles pass through the big gate while students pass through the small gate so when you enter the hostel the first thing you are going to see is the security post there's always a security here but because students have not started resuming that is why there's no security here at the moment so the next thing after that security post is the building of the hostel this is the building of the hostel so the building is just like a long arm that's the building of the hostel and this building it is divided into flats so each each flat we have four rooms in the flat so all these doors you are seeing are the doors to each flat so we have flat one flat two flat three flat four so when you enter a flat you are going to see four rooms in the flat so in each flat there's always a wardrobe room out of the four rooms there's always one wardrobe room in it so the rooms are always rooms room of six people so six people are meant to live inside each each room so inside a whole flat that means um six times four six times four will be 24 24 people are living in one flat so when you enter this room this room is a room of six without the wardrobe like i'm going to show you another room that has wardrobe so this room is a room of six like we have three bones but six people living inside this room so how we are going to do it is that see this one it is numbered already like this one is c1 C2, then B1, B2, A1, A2. So we have four, we have six um, locker inside this room. This is one already. So if the other person for the person who is going to occupy this place, one person will occupy this place, two people will occupy this space, and another one person will occupy this place. Then we have the fan that will be blown on our heads. So that will be enjoying our life. So this is our room. This is my room actually. This is my space. This is my space. Then we have wall hangers. So our wall hangers, this is for B2. B2, this is B2. So this is the person here. The person here. We shall use this wall hanger. Then the person here. You have on that bunk. So this bunk is already demarcated. So one person is going to occupy this place. One person is going to occupy this place. Then that one is not divided. So this person and our bunk mate are going to think of how to divide it. So that it's being made. Then the person here will pick one. The person here will pick one. Then we also have a um socket that everybody will be using to charge and as you can see this person has still as well though she she's not done that's why her load is like this then you can see that under the bunk she has occupied this place then a bunk mate this is a bunk mate we occupy this place so that is just about the shrink like that is about the shrink so we are going to show you how a mouse called another one open how they are also going to how they are going to live in it and everything so this is our small space this is my hostel this is where i live this is where i sleep this is my space actually i have not cleared when I flex, I will show you how the translation of everything. So in each room, there is always a window. Remember I said we have four rooms in a flat, meaning we have four windows in that flat. And we also have a fan and a bulb in each room. So this is another room too. This is another room in that same flat too. This is a plain room. This room is not a wardrobe room. So let us try and go to another flat and see a wardrobe room. So I will see the difference. So this is another flat. Like I said earlier, each flat has four rooms so this room to so let us try and enter a wardrobe room i think okay this one is a wardrobe room let's try and enter this one this one is a wardrobe room let's enter this is a wardrobe room it's a wardrobe of four it has four wardrobes but the bad thing there is that there are six people that will occupy the room so as you can see there are three bunks which means there are six people that will occupy the room so the first four would actually be the ones to occupy the room. As you can see, one person has signed in already, so she has occupied the So the next three people to come will occupy the rest. While the remaining two people, no wardrobe for them. So they probably place their other car maybe somewhere here or somewhere here. Uh, no. No, yeah, that's true. Then we have under bunk. Where? Under bunk, where you put your bucket, your stove, uh, yeah. Then you have wall and gas, so you can add your clothes. And you also have wall, because you can keep your boxes. Your box, yes. You put them on.
also the front of the hostel. Hostel, I take pictures there, and we also spread clothes on the flowers there. So we that take picture here or spread clothes. So that is the students of this place. Oh. <laughs> So this is the back of the hostel. We have slab here, then we also have cupboard here, and we also have a wall mirror. So this is me trying to film myself. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure trying to film myself. This is the back of the hostel. So at the back of the hostel, we have a slab. You can actually sit here to discuss, or maybe when you want to make your hair, you can drop your comb, your um, cotton comb there. Then we have the kitchen and the laundry. Let's go to the laundry. So this is where we wash our clothes. This is our laundry. It has sockets in case you want to iron clothes there. That's my friend Ignora. So we have two laundries at the back of the hostel, like two places that looks like that. We have it at the back of the hostel. So people at the first arm wash their clothes there. Then people at the upper side, so they wash their clothes at the first one. So it is two. Then we have granny stone in our hostel. We have mortar in case you want to pound jam or you want to... You want to grind your melon with your hand so we have it here then that is our bean it is because the hostel is not set that is why things are rough so ignore it then this is our kitchen we have zinc here when you want to wash plates ignore it i know it is dirty presently it's because like i said people are not living in the hostel presently when people start moving in the hostel it will be neater than this then um, and we also have cleaners that come here to clean every week then this is how big the kitchen is and in the hostel, we use stove. We use stove in the hostel. So you can just wash your plates. Then this is the other um, kitchen. Because you have two kitchens, two laundries at the back of the hostel. That's the other laundry. Then this is the kitchen. Then we have waste bin. Then the next part is the bedroom. This is our bedroom. We actually have two arms, but I think I lost the clip of the second one. Then we also have washstand basin if you want to brush your teeth. Then that's toilet. But so as soon as I was editing this video, I noticed I lost the clip of that part then this is back of the toilet we have a reservoir there um and this is just the back of the hostel so you can actually of the toilet you can spread your clothes at the back there and this is how the hostel look from the back like coming from the bedroom downward this is what the hostel look like and we also have shops in the hostel in case you want to buy something you have three shops there so you can actually go to anyone there and get something it's not as if we don't have shops so we have shops there and we also have this is where we fetch water water does not enter the um, toilet the kitchen and anything so we come here to fetch water we have i think five taps here or we'll fetch water this is the place where we fetch water so we come from our room to fetch water here then we we'll go back to our room so this is also the front of the hostel we also have standing mirror we have two standing mirror in front of the hostel and we have one wall mirror it is not standing mirror two wall mirror and this is the hostel. This is what the hostel looks like from the gate. And this is the surrounding of the hostel. This is what it looks like. Let no one come the 